Looking at the anchor one final time in French Polynesia. Just leaving Malpiti, it's our last stop in French Polynesia and um, we have to leave today because tomorrow there's a big southeaster coming which is going to bring some big, big waves and pretty much close the pass so we got to leave today and uh, which should mean we have good breeze 20 to 25 knots all the way to Tonga. Briggles has a tear in her eye, been five months here in French Polynesia, it's been fantastic, stopped off at a lot of beautiful islands and a lot of beautiful people but it's time to leave and off towards Tonga and on our way home to New Zealand. So sad to leave, but happy to go. We have had some absolutely unbelievable experiences. Um, as Adam said, met some absolutely phenomenally amazing people. I think I used far too many adjectives in that sentence. Um, we are very grateful to have visited French Polynesia the way we have um, on our floating home and highly recommend it to anyone who is thinking of jumping on a boat and heading this way. It is a stop that should never be missed. Dreamy start, we got five and a half knots of wind from right behind us. Motor is on and books are being read. Take the hook, you bastards! They're chasing fish around the Pacific now. Oh, I want to catch a fish so badly. Where is it? I don't know. I just saw a jump and then I saw more splashing and we saw another jump. Louie, how many seasick pills have you had? Four. How are you feeling? <laughs> Fantastic. Amazing. Just had an absolute disaster happen. Um, I came downstairs and noticed the freshwater tank had a low level flashing. Uh, considering we filled it up this morning, um, it is not not good. So I screamed at Adam to come downstairs, um, and we realised that one of the pipes out the back has completely broken off, and the water pressure pump has been pumping fresh water into the bilge for the last couple of hours, um, and completely emptied our tank. So yeah, not good at all. Um, we are pumping and pumping away, trying to get as much water out of the bilge as possible. Um, we've turned around and we're heading back to Malpiti, uh, which is not really the best idea because we're going to be going back through the pass at night time, but it's our only kind of option at the moment. We physically can't make it to Tonga on our kind of 100 litre backup water. Um, so yeah, really, really stressful. Broken water maker, broken pipe, empty water tank. Uh, yes, we have had a um, pipe come off our water pressure and we've lost all our water into the bilge. So we are currently heading back to Malpiti to refill and fix the problem. Hey, Tanshu, uh, fill the, fix the problem uh, in uh, where we are going. 
Um, we could fix the problem. We can fix the problem now. It's an easy fix, uh, but we need to get 300 liters of water to make it to Tonga because we're going to Tonga. Yes, this whole group of six boats is uh, going to Mau 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 that's a good idea. I don't see you on AIS. Looking forward to meeting all you guys tomorrow in Malpia and uh, popping up our tank. And thank you very much for the offer of help. Thank you, everybody. Um, uh, it's a pleasure. Copy. Thank you, guys. Standing by on 16. So, five hours into our eight day trip to Tonga, um, Sarah went downstairs and discovered that the uh, water tank was empty and she ran upstairs screaming, yeah, we've got no water left. Uh, straight away we uh, knew there was a problem. The hose had come off back here in a fixed job I did last week. <laughs> and so we'd lost all our, all our drinking water. We, had emerg we have emergency drinking water, but it's we don't, it's not enough to go eight days comfortably to Tonga. So we thought we're only 20 miles from Malpiti. We'd turn around and go back. It was not going to be very pretty because we we're going to get to Malpiti in the dark and have to go through that dangerous pass in the dark. But um, fortunately for us, uh, there's four boats left Malpiti at the same time as us today all around us here and they radioed up asking why we turned back. And we let them know the situation and they said that they would refill us with water in Malpi. Malpiha. Malpiha. Um, so it's a the problem is an easy fix and we can pick up water in Malpiha so we can continue on towards Tonga and now we'll get a one or probably a two night stay in Malpiha as well uh, to the holiday not just a straight trip to Tonga. We are very very lucky. We're very grateful that uh, these four boats around us are generous enough mm. to uh, offer us their water. Um, they said they've all got water makers so they're going to be able to make us fresh water to get us all the way to Tonga. And our guests were okay. panicking a little bit. <laughs> now they're happy. That was so heartwarming. The real kind of camaraderie and just helping each other out um, that you have out on the water here. It is something you can never experience on land. sun's just gone down, our water situation is fairly under control. I think it's time for me to make some dinner. I'm a coward and a thief When trouble finds you I'll just leave Never want to stay and fight I think I'd rather run and hide convoy all night long. Um, there's about six of us that are heading through the pass this morning and we're just lining up behind two boats that are in front of us um, to go through into Malpiha. It's an extremely narrow pass here at Malpiha, um, only kind of 30 to 40 feet wide. So yeah, taking extra care to get through unscathed. Um, looking out for bombies obviously on the way through and on the other side. It's 
Sarah up on the bow coming in through there. It was a rather tight little pass. And uh, she was waving her hands crazily. And <laughs> had to follow her instructions or else she'll get quite snotty at me. <laughs> Fair to say we're in Malpia. We thought we'd finish with French Polynesia, but now we're back for one last hurrah tonight. Um, and then uh, we then fill up with water, then out of here tomorrow towards Tonga. Take two. Tonga take two. <laughs> This guy used to be plugged into here, and that it's not supposed to come off. I can't even pull it off now, but somehow it came unplugged. Yeah. Not good. Not good. So what are you gonna do? Bypass it from all the way down here. Need some tools. Can you get the toolbox, please, hun? Yeah. So this was the culprit that was leaking. And we're gonna try and take this guy off and skip uh, skip it out. I've seen you down this lazarette more times than I think you'd like to be. Mm-hmm. At least it's not the water maker right now, although it is kind of the water maker's fault. Yep, it is the water maker's fault. Been busy this morning since we anchored, um, baking some muffins to give to our water saviours. The neighbours are very kind, just firing up their huge water maker. Pump us 200 litres an hour. So we'll be here tied up with these guys for an hour and a half. Drink a bit of rosé maybe, see what they're into. <laughs> And she's full. It's good. All the water's back <laughs> where it's supposed to be. Let's hope this one stays in the tank and not in the bilge. Let's hope you fix the problem. Yeah, Adam. And then nearly created another problem. <laughs> this is so funny. Mercedes and Louis are swimming with the sharks. You guys gonna get in with them? Uh -uh. <laughs> you can do it, Louis. It looks huge. Just come over to him. Damn it. a crayfish unfortunately it's a coconut crab and if you look at the size of his pinches they are just enormous apparently they take your finger off and it's proper teeth in there it feels like but the locals we were sure were chained to today gave it to us and said uh, it's beautiful to eat and they'd cooked it for us so we figured we got to try it 
This should taste really bloody good. Let's see. Mm. It's got a little bit of a funky smell to it. But it tastes beautiful. Good? Mmm, it's really good. Really sweet. Tastes a bit like coconut. <laughs> That's what he eats. <laughs> it's really soft. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> what does it taste like? It's weird. I don't know. As most of us weren't entirely overwhelmed by the flavour of coconut crab, we decided to feed the uneaten portion to our pet sharks. Come on, sharkies. You're going to catch them. Oh, we had a little... Had a little taster. Sharks coming in. Come on, sharkies. Maybe they're not hungry. Oh, you girls are playing with each other, getting you know, all your chips on the table. Jeez. Well, you're welcome to join. 